In today's video, I like to take the time out honoring a beautiful woman. Not just a beautiful woman, a beautiful, unique, talented voice actress who was best known for her distinctive speaking style and provided the voice for a large range of cartoon characters. Throughout the 1990s, she made 90s cartoons magical that 90s kids like myself really appreciate and cherish those memories the most to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I honor the late, cute, and beautiful Christine Josephine Kavanaugh. She was born to Rita Mason and Waldo Eugene Sandberg. She graduated from Layton High School in 1981. Kavanaugh first attended Utah State University, then the University of Hawaii, where she met her husband, Kevin Kavanaugh. Christine and Kevin were married in 1985, but unfortunately divorced the same year. She was best known as the voice of Gosselin Mallard in Darkwing Duck, Chucky Finster and Rugrats, Oblina and I Real Monsters, Babe the Pig in the movie Babe, and Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. She did a fantastic job doing Chucky and Dexter. Very impressive. Who didn't love Chucky? The freckled, red-headed, buck-toothed baby afraid of pretty much everything. Especially the guy on the Quaker oatmeal box. Who would be afraid of a guy on an oatmeal box? That's like someone being afraid of the guy on the Chef Boyardee canned pasta products. Some of you were probably afraid of the oatmeal guy when children. Who knows? Instead of being afraid, how about laughing at the way he smiles? Anybody remember that uh, Ben the Looney's top 10 classic cartoons he hates video? Man, I was dying. And he scared me to death towards the end when Ben screamed and it showed the Quaker, <laughs> the picture of the Quaker oatmeal guy. Man, he scared me to death. And he probably scared all of you to death, too. He scared me to death and laugh, made me laugh my ass off at the same time. It was too much. Oh, Ben, you're killing me. Dexter with that stuffy European voice is awesome. It really suits Dexter indeed. In other cartoons, Kavanaugh voiced Bunny and Sonic the Hedgehog. Another bunny character in the one Powerpuff Girls episode, Charmaine in Lloyd in Space. Anybody remember Lloyd in Space on Disney's One Saturday Morning? Uh, I miss Disney's One Saturday Morning, along with Fox Kids and Kids WB. Other shows that she was involved in include Recess, Hercules, the anime series, and many more. In 1995, Kavanaugh was just getting things started when lending her voice in the movie Babe. She was offered to con continue her role for the sequel, Babe, Pig in the City, but decided against it, and E.G. Daly took her place. Miss Kavanaugh was living up successfully throughout the 90s and early 2000s. She also guest starred in TV shows like the classic Salute Your Shorts, Cheers, Wings, The X-Files, Everybody Loves Raymond, ER, and many more. In 2001, she retired from voice acting for her desire to spend more time with her family. Candy Milo replaced her in Dexter's Lab, voicing Dexter until 2003. And Nancy Cartwright replaced her in Rugrats, voicing Chucky until the show ended in 2004. Since her retirement, she was never heard from again until her unfortunate death on December 22nd, 2014 three days before christmas at the age of 51 due to losing battle with leukemia cancer it sucks that such a beautiful lovely cute talented voice actress who warmed our hearts with joy during our childhood throughout the 90s died from cancer cancer sucks can we please get rid of it already christine Kavanaugh is so cute isn't she cute look at that face it's still hard to believe that it's been seven months since her passing. I'm sure she's in a better place, but it still hurts to know that she's gone. It would have been something if she would have came out of retirement returning to voice acting. Christine Kavanaugh, along with Tara Strong and E.G. Daly, these three women right here have opened doors for a lot of female voice actresses of today and for the future. 
May Christine Josephine Kavanaugh rest in peace along with her memory and legacy living on. You are loved and truly missed. I just want to honor this wonderful woman for the work that she did. Well, this has been my honoring Christine Kavanaugh video. I hope you enjoyed. All right, that's it. Later.